Hello everyone. Suppose you want to create a structured format for storing and organizing recipes, then creating a recipe database is the best option for you. You can create columns for recipe names, ingredients, instructions, and any other relevant details to make it easier for you. So, this is Jihal Driyan Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a recipe database in Excel. Before going into these steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the recipe categories, recipe name, ingredients and time record in column B, C, D and E. Our target is to create a recipe database in Excel. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our very first step, we want to insert necessary columns for the recipe database. At first, we have the category and recipe name, but now we want to enter ingredients and time required here. But before that, you can see that the spicy chicken and chicken curry both are in the chicken category. But now we want to show them in a single format. So I'll select both the chicken options in the B6 and B7 cell. Go for the home tab and in the alignment section, select merge and center option. Then it will show the confirmation title and keep only the first result. Click OK to get the result for both the categories. Now we'll go for the ingredients in the D5 cell. Here you'll go and insert the ingredients manually. At first we'll insert our first ingredient which is in this case flour. After that you'll press Alter plus Enter to get the result in the same cell. Now you'll go and insert the second ingredient which is in this case egg. Press again Alter plus Enter for go for the third ingredient. Here we'll sell the salt as our third ingredient. After inserting all the ingredients, you'll go for the D6 cell. You'll manually press the enter button to go for the next cell. You can again do the same thing and insert the ingredients for the spicy chicken here. We'll write down one and then go for the spices. After that, you'll again press Alter plus Enter for going into the next line of the same cell. After that, you'll go for the salt and you can manually again do this for the whole D6 cell. Now we have completed the ingredients for second cell also. We can easily insert all the necessary data here in the recipe database and that will create the database look like this. So that's how you can easily insert the necessary data in Excel. In our second step, now we want to filter the recipe database for the betterment of it. So go for the filtering by using if function and data validation. So we'll move on to the B5 cell and go for the data tab and select data validation in the data tools. In the data validation dialog box, you have got the setting section. If you click on the allow, then you will have many options as you want. But now as you required only the list, so we will select list here. In the source section, you can write the sources you need to show in the recipe menu. So we'll write the slices. Now we'll go for the chicken. And after that, we'll go for the beef. And if we want to add, we can also add the none here. If we click the OK, then we'll find a drop down list in the B5 cell. If you click on it, then you'll get your perfect options here. Suppose you want to get the chicken and select it, then get your perfect result in the B5 cell. Now, in the C5 cell, we'll insert our formula. So, we'll insert the ifs function which basically checks whether one or more conditions are met and returns the true value here. So we'll move on to our first logical test, which is in this case, the B5 is equal to none. Then we'll write down none here as our logical test. Then the value if true, we'll write down nothing as it is none. And then we'll move on to the logical test too. 
B5 is equal to the recipe list one section so we'll go for that and now we'll write down the recipe list here so we'll select the b5 cell in this section and now we'll move on to our next section where we'll insert the indirect function the indirect function basically returns the specified value with the text string but this section will go for our first reference which is in this case from c5 to e5 now we'll move on to our next section which is in this case the b5 so write down b5 manually because it is in the other section and we can select it so it will show the error we'll go for the equal sign and write down the main section here so select the b6 b7 cell but the formula doesn't work for both the cells so we want to just go for the b6 cell here after that we'll go for again the index function and write down the index function here and go for our next reference which is in this case from c6 to e7 now we'll again move on to our next section where we'll write down the b5 cell is equal to now in this section we'll go for the beef that means in the b8 cell and if it's true then we'll go for the index function again so write down the index function again and now this time we'll select the reference as the list from c8 to e8 now if we click the enter button then get our result but there remains a problem you will see that it is showing the reference reference section so what is the problem in our formula so let's check it out a bit the main problem is that while we have selected from the other list it has shown only the references but as index function is in the ifs function so we need to use double quotation in this section so go for every index section and insert double quotation at the beginning and end of it now go for the second index function again double quotation and end double quotation in it and in this section again go for double quotation and double quotation so if we click the enter button now we'll get your perfect result so that's how we can easily filter recipe by if function if you change the value from chicken to beef then it will show you the result also so that's filtering by if function for you alternatively we can use filter command to do the same job but before using the filter command we have merge b6 and b7 cells but it can create the blank cells while using the command so to save from that we want to select the cells and press ctrl plus c to copy it down and in the g column we'll paste it by using ctrl plus v at first we'll go for the b6 b7 in the home tab we'll go for the unmerged cells and unmerge it by using that after that we'll go for the home tab and here we'll select the format painter and after that we'll select the g67 cell and in next section we'll select the b6 b7 cell now it won't show any kind of blank cells while using the filter command to do that for the next section we'll use the row 4 go for the home tab and here you can go for the editing section and select the filter option there we'll get the drop down list if you click on the drop down then you'll get your options here you can easily untick the values and tick the values only that you want to show in this section now you have only ticked the chicken and unticked all then it will show only the result for the chicken if you click ok then it will show the result for the chicken you can easily remove the extra portion by right click on the column and go for the delete option now you can also go for the drop down and untick the chicken and tick the beef to get the result for the beef if you click ok then get the result for the beef so that's how you can easily use filter command to do the job we can also do the same job by using the filter function but before that we want to create a drop down list so we'll go for the b5 cell go to the data tab and select the data validation in the data tools now go for the settings in the data validation 
in the allow section you can choose any of the list but now you'll go for the list as you are trying to get the result of a list after that you want to select the sources as we want to create the slices then we'll go for the chicken and next we have the beef and if nothing then we'll have none if we click ok then we'll get a perfect drop down list select any of the section as you want you can modify the category according to your wish go to the home tab and select the alignment as you wish next go for the c5 cell and insert the filter function the filter function is used to filter a certain range or array in this case we have three parameters array include and if empty for the first array section we'll go for the recipe list worksheet and now we'll select c5 to e8 in our next section we'll go for in the b5 to b8 in the same worksheet after that we'll go for our equal sign and in this section we'll go for the filter function and this time we'll select the b5 as our category if we click the enter button then we'll get a perfect result here in this section so that's how we can easily use filter function you can easily choose any of the other category and get the result for this section so that's filter function for you so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelme.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this